In this video, I'm going to make bacala messina style. I know there's a million recipes out there, but this is my version of the bacala, which is codfish. Listen, I'm a bacala expert. I have a PhD in bacala <laughs> eating, and I want you to know one thing. The Bunster's bacala is better than anything out there. So get a piece of paper and a pencil. I was just going to say that. Get All a right. piece of paper and a pencil and take copious notes. Enjoy. Love you. Nothing like a bowl of bacala, Messina style. Bacala and stocco are preserved codfish. Bacala has been preserved by drying after salting. Cod, which has been dried without the addition of salt, is stocco. Okay, cinquecento, cinquecento. Okay. The bacala I bought at the supermarket has been soaked over three days, changing the water daily. Arriva secco sotto sale e poi noi lo mettiamo a mollo in acqua. Una volta al giorno, tre, quattro giorni di fila. Three, four days, he e poi è changes the water. The bacala in Sicily comes from Norway, where they have been preserving fish like this for centuries. Look how beautifully he cut up my bacala into little pieces. The ingredients pieces. are simple. Four medium potatoes, some fresh tomatoes, stock of celery or two, dried oregano, this one is from Canicati. You can also add fresh parsley or basil, pepponcino or hot pepper flakes, EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, this one is from Piazza Almerina, salt and pepper to taste. To make it a little thicker, you can add tomato sauce. This one is passata rustica. Caperi, which is capers. A tablespoon of raisins, pine nuts, half or a whole onion, six to ten olives, and some garlic. First get a pan and cover the base with olive oil. Add chopped onions and garlic as well as olives, whole or chopped, into the hot oil. And the pine nuts can go in as well, so the flavor is released while cooking. Next, add the chopped celery. Next, I added some fresh tomatoes. Oh, and don't forget the raisins. Oh, and when you think about it, this is the base for the caponata, right? The celery, the onions, garlic, tomato, the capers, pine nuts, and the olives. Keep stirring it around. Next, add the entire bottle of passata and rinse it out with water about halfway full. Next, we're going to do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And if you want some hot pepper flakes as well, remember the bacala is already a little bit salted. Okay, next we're going to chop up these potatoes, bring it up to a boil. Let this simmer down into a little bit of a stew for about... 45 minutes, I would say. Now I'm going to add a little bit of dried oregano, but a lot of people also put parsley, fresh chopped parsley or basil, whatever is your favorite. Or guess what? You could put all three in there. Okay, now just let it sit until the potatoes are fork soft. Bacala. I'm going to add some fresh parsley. Here it's cooking nicely, almost ready to add them. Gently place the cod pieces inside the stew and cover it with the sauce. Let it cook for about 20 minutes. You don't want to squish them around too, too much. I'll let them sit there so they don't break up. So give it a good, good, good 15 minutes minimum. Now the bacala is ready to serve. Everything just melted together beautifully. Then you can garnish it with a little fresh parsley, also some olive oil, of course, and there you go. You can also make a simpler recipe using the bacala. Put olive oil in a flat pan, add the chopped garlic and tomatoes, cook it for a little bit, add salt and pepper to taste, then the chopped parsley and oregano, and if you want, a little bit of tomato sauce. Cook for about 10 minutes or until the tomatoes are soft. Then add the bacala piece by piece and cover it with the sauce. Serve it with rice or your favorite side dish.
Bon Appetito. Alfred, can you bless this meal? Lord, mighty Lord, thank you for giving Esther the intelligence to put together this mighty meal. Amen. Amen.